Hi, I'm Dave. Welcome to another tarot card projection for a metro area. The intention behind these readings is to use the cards to tap into the subconscious in order to get hints at what's coming in the near future for the inhabitants of a particular metro area. Particularly if we would like the cards to describe events, activities, or newsworthy stories that are coming in the next 30 to 60 days that will have a large emotional impact on the human population in or around that city and be recognizable as having happened. Today is March 9th, 2017, and we're going to do a reading for the greater Atlanta area, the Sandy, uh, Sandy Springs, and Roswell. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is we're going to use the projection spread that I have on my website. Um, I'm going to basically do the reading here, and I'll do a summary on my website. The, the position to outline is who, what, where, when, and event influences, event focus, and any type of spiritual feedback that we can get. So... Uh, here I've shuffled the cards. This first card is going to be the who position. Uh, this is we're going to look for personality traits or human characteristics that describe who it is that uh, will be doing or involved in the upcoming event. <clears throat> we have the nine of swords inversed. So uh, the second card is the what position. The position is all about the context of the event or activity. It will provide characteristics that will be used to frame what is being predicted. The third position is where. Uh, this is, we want to get a feeling for the event activity, location might, what the location might be like or described as, uh, along with places that could be involved or suspiciously closer related. The fourth card is when. Uh, this is we either are going to find the time of day or we're going to find a feeling at how far out in time this event is from today. The fifth card is the event influences. This adds details to the main uh, event card. This card also provides uh, event intensity. The sixth card is an elemental influence. Uh, so with the elemental influence, we want to have the primal energies associated with this event uh, of what the people might be witnessing. And the last card is the spiritual descriptor. This is card is, should be interpreted with a divine influence. Uh, it, if there's karma involved, this card will show it. Uh, it's basic life principle stuff. Uh, we're also seeking advice maybe from the animal spirit that might be associated with the card if there is one. So here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to place this on the website, get the meanings, and we're going to go over what we've just drawn. Okay, now we're going to look into the deeper aspects of this. So here, uh, each one of the cards has a particular uh, meaning in the location. So we're going to look into those in a little bit more detail. So uh, as it turns out that uh, when we're looking at this, so all this information is going to be put up on the website. So you're going to be able to see it. You might be able to do your own interpretation of these cards. But here, I'm going to give you a little bit of my interpretation or how I might look at this. So uh, first off, let's start with that center card. That center card is the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords swords is going to represent what this event is. The cards around it is going to give us some interpretations of this. So in the uh, up in reverse position here, um, this particular card will take on a little bit more of the sinister aspect or a little bit darker than if it were upright. So here, um, this particular card is titled Mystery. There is a mystery that's going to happen in this particular area. Um, and it the key words associated with this one are unsolved, crime, murder, disappearance, theft, detective work. So it comes up strong with a detective type of event that's going to occur. Feelings of this, uh, the way that people are going to get involved is being caught up in a mystery that needs to be solved. It's as if it's going to capture people's attention and they're going to be connected with it somehow or, or there's going to be somebody involved that's going to capture their attention and there's going to be the strong drive to try to make that decision, try to figure out what's going on. Uh, general descriptions when we look at this. I'll, I'll just read through this. The energy here in circles around the detective ability, prowess, 
confidence and diligence in a detective that attempts to unravel a crime or situation. The pieces of the puzzle need to be put back together again and close attention to clues and details of the circumstance need to be addressed. Expect interrogations, witnesses, real and circumstantial evidence to be presented. There is generally a central player in the situation uh, with an unknown target. There could be cold or methodical methods of pursuit. So here it kind of brings up the idea that uh, there's going to be some detective work. We want to look into that. We want to find out how strong is this particular work. So what we'll do is we'll look at the first card. The first card uh, is the attributes of the person involved. And generally with the attributes, if the card is reversed, we're going to look at the darker attributes. So here, uh, all of them are steadfast, irritable, questioning, inactive, weak, hopeless, nervous, hateful, agonizing. So there, there may be uh, attributes associated with who it is that may be steadfast. Um, they may be questioning everything, which goes along with our mystery that we have here. Um, hopeless, nervous, uh, agonizing, I would, I would consider those as being characteristics of the event, the person that we're going to see, or attributes of the person that might be involved in this event, or the people. Where? Where is this going to happen? We have the inverted wheel of fortune. So the where, uh, in the where attributes, uh, we don't really have anything to go with the reverse. So we're going to look at it and say, this says casino, legislative area, senior care, or bus as being items that might be of focus, part of this investigation, a part of this mystery that's going on here. There also are place descriptors, uh, meandering, inaccessible, sprawling, entertaining, and great. Uh, which to me, kind of the first thing that comes to me that l lends in with the other couple cards here uh, is entertaining uh, or legislative area, which sounds very interesting to me. Um, also, intuitively, senior care seems really interesting. See how it's going to be interesting to find how that's related. When we look at the Nine of Wands in the fourth position, the Nine of Wands is the win position. And so when we look win, uh, we see this. This is saying nightfall. And if we were to look out in time, how far out in time, this card is saying 23, 37, or 51 days from today would be a key day associated with this activity. And today happens to be March 9th, 2017. Looking at some details, let's go to the King of Wands. The King of Wands in the fifth position uh, is the event influences. And what we want to see with this particular card is that... Uh, is there some attributes that we can see that's going to help define what's going on or show the influences that are on this event? And here we find that this card brings confidence, enthusiasm, willpower, natural born leader, vision, entrepreneur, honor, optimistic, fair, and motivating. And so uh, in the upright position, this shows that uh, there may be influences that, that are very honorable in this particular mystery or investigation that's going on. Uh, that person, uh, there may be a sense of optimism, there may be uh, high motivation, there's lots of energy associated with that. Um, and coming up as a court card, it may be that there's a detective that has these characteristics that's looking into this, or an investigator that's looking into it, or there may be some other thing associated with this that the, the people that are involved in this um, have these, these good characteristics. Um, looking at the elemental influence that's in this, the elemental influence is uh, water. And the water is emotion, intuition, and empathic, which may mean, will lead into this as saying that there may be uh, that this particular mystery or investigation that's going on could have some intuitive aspects to it. Like as if somebody goes through something and they get really lucky with regards to what they're discovering. Um, that last card is the High Priestess. The High Priestess, um, in the spiritual aspect there, we generally, this particular card is the Law of the Seer. And so it's as if, when you think about the Law of the Seer, the Law of the Seer is a person, uh, it, it is that inner being, it's that inner knowing. Uh, it is the observer that observes what's going on in life. And so the, the High Priestess is, again, a water-based card, which would go very well with the fundamental principles behind this. And the Seer um, is where we go for those 
uh, for the intuitive knowledge. It's where we go for that communication with the inner self that doesn't happen with words. It happens with visions. It happens with, uh, with seeing. It happens with uh, basically having a feeling for what's going on. And we look specifically at the lynx here, which is a keeper of the secrets. The lynx doesn't tell you what's going on. You have to go discover it. And so here, when we look at this, there is a discovery that needs to happen uh, that's, that's going to be influenced by intuition, that it's going to have some honorable uh, people involved in this, but there's a mystery that's being investigated. And uh, the, the first position, the who, uh, there may be a lot of questioning going on. There may be uh, some hopeless nervousness that's going on with regard to somebody associated with this event. And, uh, and then again, going to the where, um, it could be that uh, it could be a casino, legislative area, senior bus, uh, senior care or bus centers. I'm, I'm having a feeling like it might be senior related. And the time frame, again, when we're looking at the time from today, we're looking at 23, 37, or 51 days out where this will kind of become the news, become something that you can look at and look back on. So, so here, um, so what the cards are saying, my interpretation, your interpretation might be differently. So go look at the website, follow the link to my website, take a look at it and see if this makes sense to you. If you want to comment on it, feel free to do so. Um, anyway, let's find out what's going to happen here in this uh, Atlanta, uh, Sandy Springs, Roswell area. Have a great day.